Today, we're going to take a completely different journey. I think this song called Push It is a really good encapsulation on the range of Tool. So is yeah. this live or is this It's a, a live recording, but you, there'll yeah. be no visuals for you. Yep. Okay. There's nothing to distract you. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you a, a performance of it as well after, <laughs> if, if you want, okay. if you're feeling adventurous. Alright. Go. You've been, you've been trying something a little different this tour. We've been looking at one of our songs from a different angle, under a different light, so we can hopefully kind of see it almost for the first time. We'd like to try that for you tonight, is that okay? We're gonna need your help. We need your help and your permission. So we need you to find a comfortable space that's not only comfortable, but vulnerable. I want you to shut your eyes and go there, and we'll meet you on the other side. Wow. Close the eyes. I shouldn't pause it, but I want to, because... Sure. Already, it's a very, you can already see the landscape is kind of changing from sober. Oh yeah, definitely. But um, I'm listening to, he seems like a theatre performer. The way he's inviting the audience on a journey. This is not your average concert banter in between songs, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. So we, are you ready to be immersed? Are you ready I'm to close ready. your eyes I'm, and connect? I'm ready. So that's like very different from sober, right? Yeah, for sure. So honestly, the first thing that came to mind is like almost chant, like a Gregorian chant. Oh, uh, the way that's kind of like zzzz. Oh, like really, really straight tone, no vibrato, no like no, almost no warmth to sound. It's really thin. Saw the gap again today. So it's really clean. Mm. Almost like, it's almost like you're saying, okay, I want a completely neutral color palette for this. Like, mm. very neutral, very stripped back, which to me is like pure Gregorian chant, like, oh, P -A -S -O, you know? Right. Same so, sort of thing. Saw the gap again today. What would the opposite to that be? Saw the gap again today. Yeah, that's yuck. He could have done that. Yeah, right? but he, he, he did it. I'm, I'm glad he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been horrible. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, you could have added. It was really not bad. So the gap again today. It's it's not that it's horrible. It's <laughs> it's it's that it's wrong. It's wrong. It's offensive you, for the song. It's what it's wrong. It's, yeah, and I don't know where the song's going, right? But I guess I brought it up. I brought that up because you know I associate rock and metal with that sort of like gritty, powerful. Very sound. powerful and so that's mm, what's, yeah. That's what's surprising me, right? Like it's, the it's not this. It's really yeah. gentle. And I'm thinking of Gregor Gregorian chant when yeah. I'm listening to it. Like yeah. what?
that a tabla? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I love yeah. the tabla. That's cool. One thing you don't you won't know is yeah. Danny Carey, the drummer. Yeah. He's like this the greatest drummer of all time. Ever. I can so he is he doing all of these different percussion? Is yeah, that, oh, although he's wow. one percussion dude. I've got to find you. There's another cool video of him yeah. um of just the drum cam, just him yeah. being filmed. And it's insane the amount of work he's putting out there. He's an octopus. There is him and there's <laughs> another guy, Larnell Lewis, who's probably like the they're like the two best drummers yeah. ever. Um, but Larnell's more jazz. Um, this is obviously very different. Yeah, cool. He's brought in a totally different vocal colour here. Rather than, oh, mm, I will choke until I swallow. Like it's really. Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's kind of like. Mm, and you're doing like that. He's, like, you're being choked when you're yeah, saying exactly, it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, nice yeah. word painting. Yes. He's literally like, oh, you can almost feel like the neck constricting with that line. Uh, which is actually really cool. Like just, yeah, for I'm sure. I'm a big, big fan of really using your voice to convey the lyric, which sounds like really, really obvious. But by that, I mean like he's literally constricting, you know, he's constricting yeah, yeah, for sure. his neck to create the effect of choking. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Choking is cool, kids, write that down. No, 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 that's not what I, yeah. <laughs> Then he brings it back to that sort of yeah. clean, stripped back Gregorian sort of vibe. Sorry, I'm stopping so much. It's really annoying when the talk They're like, no, just let the song play. I hear you, sorry. But I'm finding this interesting because the text setting is really strange. Right. Um, so who am I to judge or strike you down, right? Often what you'll find in music is they're trying to set the text to reflect how you would say it in speech. Okay. So who, who am I to judge or strike you down? Who am I to judge or strike you down? He goes, who am I to judge or strike you? Who? He holds you for ages. Down. And right. dance at the last minute. I don't know why. I mean, I it fits the that. music. It's not necessarily a speaking, pacing, phrasing choice. It's more so, oh, no, here's what the melody is that needs to happen. Yeah. The words will fit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so. All right. Yeah, you like that? Oh, this percussion is amazing. Yeah. It is very ritualistic. Like, yeah. this is why I do believe like a lot of people, like when you go to a concert of theirs, it's very much an experience. It's not like you're going to a rock concert. It's not yeah. a band, it's its own separate thing. It really is. So it's the same similar vocal mm. flips that he's doing there. You know, that uh, whatever those lines are. Trigger rest your trigger finger. on my finger. Yeah. So it's really rested, really constricted here. Mm -hmm. And then what is really impressive and what is really the hallmark, in my opinion, of a, of a fantastic singer, is when they can have that sort of 
very interesting vocal quality that that pained one but then they can turn it they can change it like mm. it, it's just another tool in their toolkit right so, sure. so he does that uh, that kind of thing and then he'll flip back and, uh, mm. and you can yeah. do both of them and then the hissing i love that <laughs> i love that and i love like the way he says that so he's bringing out the, the sh yeah so it gives it it gives it, I, I'm being shoved. He amps I'm it up, really... it's very theatre, which I, I love, I love that. I never thought shoving. of it as a theatre thing, shoving. but that makes a lot of sense. You know, it's not, it's not shoving. Yeah. So he's really stretching out those consonants. As a listener, like when you hear someone go shh in your ear, it's like, ooh, you get like some tingles. You're yeah, like, yeah. Pushing, shoving. Like, I love that. Yeah, he's clever. I wonder if he's ever had any singing training. I'm curious. I, I, just, I don't know that. Mm. I'm not sure. Also, he's breaking that up. Hey? He's breaking that up, so it's not, sorry, but it's yeah. not, and I'm pushing you, and I'm pushing you. He's like, oh, and it's... I'm pushing you, mm. shoving you. It's a good That's, choice. Yeah, it's a nice choice. Very percussive. Done that again with the word down. Right, just down. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the vocal line is so quirky. It doesn't feel like a vocal line the way it's written. Like this, this strange emphasis on on oh my random, down and yeah, the pacing, yeah, words. for sure. It's, it's not on the beat. It's hard to anchor yourself to it. Like usually after listening to a piece, yeah, I can quite you know easily coming, sing yeah. <laughs> sing back. I'm having a hard time singing it back because it it feels like part of a texture. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know how they thought of combining all these sounds. Like they've got you know, yeah. very tubbly and let's also like channel a bit of Gregorian chant, you know. Mm -hmm. And also we're a metal band. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are many songs that I could pick as saying this is the perfect example of Tool. Yeah. But I think this specific version of this song, because it shows all the different qualities of like the, the Eastern influences, the um, the drumming styles, tender moments and very aggressive, which we're getting to now as well. But how specifically Maynard really uses his voice as a separate instrument as opposed to being the front man, singer. Like he's, yeah. not, I'm, he's not the one at the front, he's always in the background. It's unique, to be honest, for any music. It's just yeah, very sure. unusual. Yeah. Usually it's, you know, let's keep the instruments down so we can hear the singer above. Mm. Yeah. So good. Whoa. And he's doing this. This is insane. Yeah. I don't know if it's hands, if it's drumstick. I don't even know anymore. It's um, one of his many tentacles at the moment. Oh my god. I normally get bored by drum solos. Not but this, this is, drum solo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you actually. Mm. Whoa. I wouldn't try to work out the time signature. No, I'm sort of trying. Because it, it'll change <laughs> anyways. It's, it's, yeah. it's already changed four times. Yeah, right. I 
like we've entered into like a futuristic sci-fi world yeah, now. Another realm. Another. Yeah, now we're getting very Eastern. This feels very Indian. Yeah. In one song. Yes. <laughs> but it fits. Yeah, like it all like just the transitions it builds. Things, and they're all such insane musicians. Like I was quietly thinking, okay, so if someone had said, Christina, you have to do, <laughs> you have to sing this song, here's the sheet music, because I always usually have sheet music, right? Yeah. It would take me <laughs> fucking forever to be able to get the timing of this and the entries right. Yeah. It is so hard. The time signature is all over the place. I'm trying to be like, when's he going to come in? And it always catches me off guard. <laughs> like pretty much every single I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, you're doing that now. All right. Like I literally don't know. I have no idea how this song is going to go or how it's going to end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's find out. Shall yeah, we? yeah, for sure. <laughs> I feel like now we're kind of back into typical metal territory. Yeah. This is actually more so, more akin to the original studio recording. Oh, okay. Um, where all this whole first 10 minutes, oh. all the sparseness isn't, isn't there on the studio recording. Oh, okay. Um, and that's why like, I've chosen this version specifically because it yeah. shows you the diversity. Yeah, yeah. To give you a bit of a, get your feet wet. They're not just a, a typical rock band. No. Like I said they were at the start. It's, that's not them. No. This is just, <laughs> this is just confusion. Yeah. Confuse Ray. Yeah, yeah they are not. Um, they are not typical at yeah all. but yeah this is very much slow but this is yeah the the rock sound that they present okay okay let's try this again <laughs> I knew it would catch you off guard, what? so I was just waiting for I it. I wasn't, again, yeah, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise vocal entry. So he's bringing in the original theme yes. of the vocal back in yeah. now.
He's still, even when he's belting, he's still, he's still got, I'm, I don't have words. <laughs> okay, so at the start of the song, it's all the gap on the hill, whatever it is. They're really pure, but he's still, what blows me away about his vocal, right, is that even though that was a very distinct colour, he, I can still tell that that was mainted there, and I can still very, very much tell that, that was, this is mainted here. His blend between registers is crazy. And even when he's belting this here, there's still that element of that purity of that Gregorian chant that he's bringing into it. Mm -hmm. Can you hear that? Yeah, you know for sure, saying? for sure. Like it could, it could be completely not that. It could have been like much more gritty and much more kind of hard. Yeah, attack, absolutely. He does, he does, he does that as well in other songs, in other but times. But he's not yeah. doing that. Like, yeah, he's got crazy control. Yeah. Also, like breath control in general is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I haven't even commented on it, but it's insane. Yeah. You haven't, you haven't scratched the surface on his breath control just yeah, yet. Right. There are a few songs we'll look at in the future where it's like, that's not humanly possible. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, there we go. Look forward, look forward to that. Um... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That last little Whoa. phrase gives just shivers every time. It's like, oof, love it. Yeah. Wow, just so effortless. And even in that last bit, it was very, very, um, like almost a staccato kind of delivery. Mm -hmm. And it was still like, no problem, I got all these hooks. Yeah. It's like sitting real high for me, no probs. No oh, such a good all. build to it. Yeah, wow. So, so what, what, are you, what are your general thoughts now on taking this as your first real tool experience? So this is my first real tool experience? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, incredibly complex band, mm -hmm. ridiculous musicians. Every musician is like literally a master of their craft. Mm -hmm. That drummer, my God. Complex meter changes all the time. I mean, just imagine hypothetically, Maynard calls in sick. Someone has to right. I mean, that would just not happen. I know that would not happen. No one would go. I get it. But like hypothetically, no singer could pop, like you just can't step into that. He has created a sound that is all his own that requires like an insane level of mastery, mm. of technique, craft, color, diction as well. Like he's, the way he uses his words is mm -hmm. so, like I usually, to be honest, Personally, this is just me. I'm not drawn to lyrics. I find it very hard to pay attention to lyrics. I'm very focused mm. on other things. But his diction is so crisp that it's 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 very easy, right? Like, to to like lit, to take on the words and absorb what he's saying. I adore that because it's I come from a theatre back. <laughs> the way I said theatre just then. I come from a theatre background. Oh God. Um, <laughs> but I I do. In theatre, that's what we do. Like we bring mm. out those words so that people in the, in the audience way back at the back of the theater can hear those words and he does that really, really well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. One thing is the way that they create their music, normally like you think of a melody and then you construct a song around it. Mainly I guess the last, I guess it's the last piece on top. So the drums, the bass, the guitar, they'll all mm -hmm. make their own pieces. Mm -hmm. okay. They'll send it to Maynard, like, hey Maynard, here's the shit. Make Good something. luck, <laughs> make a melody. I would not know how to start to make a melody on top of just instrumentation. Wow. And make it all into a cohesive thing. That explains um, so much to of, me. Yeah. About like, you know, oh, that vocal line, that's not what I would expect from a vocal line. Why did he, mm. like, how did he, like, everything's... Yeah, because sort of... it's not led by the vocals. It's not melody-driven no, music. No, he's it's... trying to find an entry yeah. um, to, to blend with the instruments. Um, yeah. And that, I think, would be really one of the biggest factors that makes tools sound so unique. Mm. 
One thing before we finish this up, I do need to show you um, an actual visual performance of this as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can't not, you know? Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> I'm happy to sit through the whole thing. If you want to just skip to the good bits, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I already know that if I showed this to you cold, it'd be a very different reaction. <laughs> it, it would have just pulled you out from being able to enjoy any of what you just heard. <laughs> I'm really immature. It's true. Yeah. I would have gotten distracted. Yeah. I love how I just listened to a 13 minute song twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta. And I think this is what I'm noticing about this band, right? Like they're not a one. It's not a pop song. You no. Know, a pop song, you listen to it, you get the hooks, you know, you probably know the melody and can hum it in your car, like mm. after one listen. You can't do this with a band like this. No, it's, it's an acquired, the not more, even an acquired taste, it's just you get more out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's like, but it's like, it is a bit like, you know, developing the taste for wine or something, right? Like mm. you, the first time you drink wine, you're like, what the, what is this? Yeah. Then you, then you go, oh wow, I can, I'm starting to smell some, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's. It takes you many listens to really start to peel away the layers of the onion and understand how yeah. much is actually happening here. For sure. Um, and it's just four dudes. And it's just four, yeah, four dudes that are just insane at what they do. Yeah. Like, really, whoa. I'm starting to warm to this on stage. <laughs> I have respect for him because what he, he's, my opinion, he's not performing for the audience. He's so immersed in the music and he's literally letting his body respond to the music in whatever way his body chooses to. Mm. And the audience is either with him or not with him and he doesn't care. Yeah. Right? And I love that. I respect that a lot. Like you just, this is the band, you're either with us or you can fuck off. Yeah. Like, that's it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I actually think another voice wouldn't be able to cut through all that complexity no. in the instrumentation. Out a bit of a like yeah. scream. Yeah. No worries. It's actually, yeah. <laughs> Each beat just hits him. Yeah, it hits him. That's what it I mean. He's him. just, his body is just responding to the music. And I think that's what's happening with him vocally as well. I think he, he's so emotionally connected to his words and the music that he taps into this, like, I don't know, this extra source of energy where he can defy some rules of posture and stuff <laughs> like that in order to produce his beautiful sound. Because there's emotion, there's an emotionally driven situation. I, uh, I think that's probably made it in a Yeah, he's show. channeling the music he's and just, it just like so yeah. absorbed in it. And I love that. Like, I love that he doesn't care and he doesn't care what people think. For sure. Right? Yeah. Like to me, what it says in terms of, you know, why he's become like an icon, you know, mm. is he's literally saying you can be just be you. You do you. I don't give a, I don't give a shit. So you shouldn't either. You just, you just be you. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's part of the, the magnetism, the appeal. There you go. So can we consider you a full tool, tool convert now? I 
think you can. Yeah. I actually think you can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I can. I, I now appreciate the, yeah, the complexity of the band. There we go. Another yeah. convert Another to convert. the Tool Army. Yeah. Fantastic. It, it took us a little while, but we got there. <laughs> It took us two listens to one song, <laughs> but we got there. Two listens of a 13-minute song. Yeah. <laughs> we got there, yeah. Nice. I wonder what we'll do next. If you guys have any suggestions, let us know. Yeah, and, um, let us know. We'll start taking her on a, another tool oh, journey soon. A tool journey.